Hey, my Legion. How y'all doing today? I was waiting. I didn't know when uh, the Connors was premiering. I thought usually I'd probably miss it. Uh, I looked last week and it says premiering tonight, October 21st, Wednesday night at 9 o'clock. Usually I'm used to it being Tuesday at 8 p.m. But it's Wednesday at 9 o'clock. I don't know why they moved it for, but, you know, it's up to them. Um, I think I might be the only person excited, still excited for the show. I know the whole thing when Roseanne came back. It was very, very popular. And she got fired for saying, for tweeting something silly. Uh, and then, you know, when the Connors came on, they, they wanted to do the show without her. Because they said she was passed away, had passed away, which she really hasn't. Uh, and, um, they had series one and two. They usually have, like, guest stars and stuff like that sometimes. And season three premiered tonight. I remember they had left it with, uh, Dan getting, uh, the bank was going to foreclose on his house. And we start with the show with that one kid checking for temperature. They talk about the age of COVID. And that's what they're talking about. They mentioned it, uh, in some other shows, too. Um... And they show how they cope with that. They're doing social distancing. That one kid that's really, uh, the kid that's a little, the kid is supposed to be gay. They have to do social distancing. He's taking everyone's temperature constantly and stuff like that. Asking questions. And all of a sudden, you know, they get a knock at the door. And uh, it's Danny Trejo. And he said, hey, do you, could you help me out, Dan? Because uh, they were friends before, right? Uh, we had talked to him a while, but I mean, I'm, uh, I'm going to get a roof roofing job done and could you look at this contract tell me if it's looks legit he handed him papers and then he looked and he said this is eviction notice and I said yeah you've been served and he felt bad about it and then he asked if he had a mower and Dan uh, closed the door in his face it was cool seeing Danny Trejo again I like I want to see the documentary about him whenever it's not whenever it's free on Amazon um, there was one thing they're talking about that plastic shop if you remembered Roseanne from a long time ago the plastic shop, and then working there and stuff like that. And uh, this part didn't, I mean, the plastic shop being open, I understand that, but she was talking about George Clooney working there. And George Clooney, before he got super famous, was in a bunch of TV shows. Like, Give Me a Break, I think Facts of Life, uh, the Roseanne, and they showed a clip of that, of them from a long time ago, Doing a bet, I mean, you know, during bowling and stuff. Let me look at INDB. I should have looked that up. That's my fault. But then that, that didn't go anywhere. I thought maybe he would show up. That would be kind of cool, but no. Let me look, George Clooney. I think he was in a whole bunch of, I mean, he was in a, because I remember Jay Leno said he really paid his dues before he got famous. But, I mean, ER was a show that made him famous, but he was, all, he was already famous before then, sort of. George Clooney, INDB. Look up acting roles. Well, let's see, it'd probably be a lot of long list. Okay, yeah. Well, I mean, his first movie, The Peacemaker. Oh, wow. ER. Oh, this had been the ER with... Uh, uh, oh, I can't... There was a comedic ER in 85. I didn't know he did that one. He was on Riptide, Grizzly 2. Uh... Hotel, Combat High, Facts of Life, yep, Hunter. He was on Return to Her War High, remember that? He was on Murder, She Wrote, Golden Girls. But he was on a lot of TV, Lawn, Harry McGraw, Return to the Killer Tomatoes. Hot Prospect, where's Give Me a Break at? I thought he was in Give Me a Break. Roseanne, no, Baby Talk, he was in Baby Talk. forgot about that. Roseanne, Jack's Place, Harvest. Without Bodies of Evidence, The Building. Wow. But he was in, uh, wasn't he in ER? The main famous? Jack's place, I'm, I'm became, by the members of, wow. Sisters from Dust to Dawn. I thought he was on that show and he got famous after that. I can't, well, he did something. I don't, I don't know. I don't care. Well, anyways, I mean, that, that plot went nowhere because I thought he would show up. That show, and that didn't go anywhere. Um, 
And uh, they talk about the, the magazine folding up that Darlene and the other guy were involved with. That was kind of interesting. It's cool that uh, Dan's very lucky because he has uh, Kay Seagal with him, and she's still hot, you know, uh, cooking and cleaning and stuff like that. And they show him uh, he had to lay off all the guys to try to make money to get uh, to pay off the mortgage. Right? So he'd do a drywall job all by himself. And he was in messed up shape. And his two daughters gave him a tough time. And then Darlene took his beer and said, I'm taking your beer. Could you lie to me? Let him have his damn beer. You know? But, I mean, for the most part, it was pretty good. It wasn't... I mean, I still think John Goodman is probably the most interesting character on the show. And you show them all, like, getting older. Like, you know, when I remember watching the show. I was in the, When I first came out, I was in the Army... You know, no gray hair. Now, you know, they brought it back and they have Roseanne Roseanne got kicked off the show. I have gray hair, gray beard that I can't grow properly. Um, but the show, I mean, show's still pretty decent. I give it an 8 out of 10. It wasn't as good as some of the other premieres. And this, this full court ain't up that high. Everyone makes jokes about it, but, I mean, that's just the way it was designed. I think it's cool. I don't mind. If it's something that gets you to talk and they sign a step ladder to get the extension cord, I can't reach it. I can't reach it. I think that's funny. But I give an 8 out of 10 to the, re, uh, the third season premiere of The Connors. And until next time, bye, please. Take care of my legion. It's just weird they moved to uh, 9 o'clock Wednesday night. I'll probably put this up Thursday at 4 o'clock or something like that. All right. Take care, everybody.